Welcome to Tech in 10, where you'll get technology tips in 10 minutes or less. My name is Bethany and I'm with the Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest. Let's get started. Today you will learn how to use File Explorer to manage your files on a PC. To open File Explorer, click the folder icon on the taskbar. The navigation pane is this area on the side. Let's look at some of the sections. The first is Quick Access. This is what File Explorer automatically opens to. Here you will find folders and files you recently accessed. Quick Access is divided into subsections. Folders and files listed in Quick Access will change depending on which folders you frequent. However, you can pin a folder to Quick Access so it will always stay in Quick Access. This only works for folders, it does not work for files. Pin folders display a push pin. To pin a folder, navigate to the desired folder. Right click the folder and choose Pin to Quick Access. And now you can see my sample folder has a push pin and it will stay here in Quick Access. If you ever want to remove a section from Quick Access, right click the section in the navigation pane and choose Unpin from Quick Access. When you unpin something, it does not remove the original. It just removes the shortcut that's pinned to Quick Access. We also have some extra folders here that are recently opened. If you want to clean up your Quick Access, you can right click any of the folders and choose Remove from Quick Access. The next part that's really important with the navigation pane is this PC. This section was once known as My Computer. It contains all the libraries of files as well as computer drives. If you can't find something in your quick access, it is probably here. The ribbon at the top of File Explorer offers commands for working with your files. Click Home to easily move files, create folders, and more. The View tab can be very helpful to find files or see your files in a different way. You can choose the Preview pane, and when you click one time on a file, you'll get a preview of it on the side, without having to open the file. You can adjust the preview with the width by stretching it with the line and dragging to your desired size. If you click view again, you can also change the layout, such as making your icons larger or smaller, or having a list view or detail view. Also in the view tab, you can choose sort by and sort by a variety of factors. I think I'll choose sort by size. And now the largest file is on the top. If I wanted to reverse the order, I can go to view, sort by, and change it to ascending and now it's reversed. When you have a lot of files, it may be helpful if you group them together. Go to View, Group By, and choose a category or a filter. I'm going to group by type. Now all of my Microsoft Word documents are together, my Excel documents are together, my pictures are together, etc. To remove grouping, click on View, Group By, and change it to None. Above the ribbon, you have your Quick Access Toolbar. These commands are customizable. Just click the down arrow. I can remove things or add them simply by checking or unchecking. When you decide to search the File Explorer, you want to be very aware of where you are inside of it. Right now, I'm in a specific folder called Sample Folder. If I go to my search bar, it says search by sample folder. So whatever I'm looking for, it's only going to search in this area. If you want to search all of your computer for a file, click this PC and then use the search bar where it says search this PC. Now I will conclude with an introduction to OneDrive. This is Microsoft's cloud service. It saves your files to the cloud and syncs them to all of your devices. This is a great way to have a backup of your files. 
If you're already paying for Office 365 with the newest versions of Word, Excel, and other products, then you get one terabyte of space, which is 1,000 gigabytes. If you're not paying for Office 365, then you only get five gigabytes of free space. To get started, click on this section that says OneDrive on the navigation pane and sign in with a Microsoft account if you haven't already. If you don't have a Microsoft account, it's free to create one. Once signed in, simply move files or save new files into OneDrive. You can see the status of your files in the Status column. The cloud icon represents that the folder or file is online access only. You have to have an internet connection to open the file. But it also means you save space on your device because it's only in the cloud. The white circle with the green check mark means that you've opened an online only file and it has downloaded to your device locally and become available. You can open all locally available files anytime, even without internet access. The green circle with the white check mark means that this file is always available. It takes up space on your device, but the plus is that you don't need an internet connection to access these files. You can right click on any online only file and decide to always keep it on this device. And if you have a file that's always on the device, you can right click it and decide actually free up space and be online only. The circular arrow means that a sync is in progress. Usually this takes place pretty quickly, but if it's a large file, it may take some time. You can also use the cloud on your taskbar to access the sync status of your files and folders and to view your online cloud. The File Explorer can be your friend or enemy if you don't know how to use it. I hope you enjoyed these tips on how to use File Explorer. Check out the Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest on YouTube for more technology videos. And don't forget to like us on Facebook to stay up to date with all the happenings at your library. Thanks for watching.